Hello friends, so if you want to see how I make this delicious um, chopped salad, then stay tuned for this video. The only thing I did forget to um, oil up and put in it was a hard boiled egg. So when you make yours, make sure you add some chopped up hard boiled egg. It really does make a difference and I totally forgot to put, put it in mine, but I will be adding it later. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Arlene. Um, what I'm going to be making for myself today is a chopped salad and the easiest way I find to do it, my mother makes these all the time, we absolutely love them, is whatever vegetables you're going to use. I have here <clears throat> lettuce, broccoli, celery, red onion, carrots, tomato, over here, cucumber, radishes. Then I have some black olives, some green olives. I'm going to be chopping up as well. And then I'm going to be adding some chickpeas. And basically what you want to do is, and I do them separately, so sometimes it can take a little bit longer. I'm making a big, gigantic bowl because I'm going to be giving some to my mom. But you, if you have a food processor, <clears throat> what you do is you just put it in in your pulse. You want to pulse everything till it's nice and small. Let me cut this a little bit smaller. big pieces that don't want to chop. Okay, just take them out. Like this one. Watch out. Because you can't. Get down. This cat's getting a little too used to getting on my counters. He's a bad boy. Okay. So the next thing I do is I have paper towels set up over here and I just dump everything on a paper towel because you want to dry it off. You don't want to have everything soaking wet. Get over here. Okay. So I put everything onto a paper towel See what I'm doing here and then I just dry it off like so try to get any water that might be in there out I walk, woke up this morning with such a sore throat <clears> throat> hope I'm not getting sick from going up to the hospital every day you know there's all sick people up there my uh still no change on my brother my mother's looking into uh, a nursing home today and if he's allowed to be taken out of the nursing home once he goes into there then she's going to consider putting him in but as long as we can take him out and like maybe take him fishing or something and she said if we're not allowed to take him out then she's just going to bring him home because at this point they don't have him on any more IVs and, you know, it's just a matter of time before everything really shuts down. So she said as long, you know, as, at least if he's home, you know, we could take him in a wheelchair or whatever and take him down to the dock or wherever he goes fishing. Because he goes fishing, <clears throat> he was going fishing like every day, that's what he does. <laughs> Loves to fish. So... That's where we're at with that. So I just wanted to get this quick video up and show you how we do our chopped salad before I go to the hospital. So now I've got the blade back in there. I think I'll do my lettuce next. 
And that's all you want to do is you just want to keep chopping in your chopper and then drying it off. Or you could just mix it and then dry it all off at, in, you know, at one time. You could do it that way as well. Am I even recording? Yeah, okay. But the last time I made a big gigantic bowl like this for me and my mom, it and if you dry it off really well, and when you mix it all in the bowl, and it's all in the bowl together, it lasted over like nine days. Literally, I had it for a couple of days, and then I forgot about it in the refrigerator. And when I was cleaning out my refrigerator, I'm like, oh, what's this? And it was the chopped salad that I had put the little bit left in a smaller <clears throat> in a smaller container, and it was still good. I ate it, and it was literally nine days later. And you could just put whatever vegetables you want. There's no, no rhyme or reason to this. You could chop it as small or as big as you want. We like it really small for some reason. But sometimes you got you can't put the pieces in too big because they won't. You don't want to make them like mush into water, but you just want them. My mother actually has this chopper that you pull the handle. And it goes, ch -ch -ch. and when she does it, it comes out really, really good because she can control with this. It kind of does its own thing. That's why you just want to pulse. And there's always those couple of stupid pieces that don't want to, there we go. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour all of the stuff into the bowl and then I'll dry it. <clears throat> I'll dry it off later. So I'm going to dump this in here. I'm going to do the whole head of lettuce. So I'll put the rest through. I'll shut off the camera for a minute. I'll put the rest of my lettuce through. Then I'll show you how I do the cucumbers, the carrots, the broccoli. And then I'm going to chop up the onion, um, the onion and the <clears throat> green olives and the black olives. And I have radishes here. Maybe I'll put the radishes right now. We love this salad so much. And it's just, I don't know. It's such a better way to eat salad. I don't think I'll eat a regular salad anymore. There's my radishes. I love radishes. I don't know about you guys, but they are so, so good. I like to eat them just right out of the bag with just some salt on them. I wash them, put salt on them, and they're freaking delicious. Okay, so the radishes are in there. Now the cucumber, I'm going to put you back down here. Now the cucumber, I always take the seeds out because the seeds are really, really watery. So I'm just going to, and th this is one of those, um, one of these cucumbers that are wrapped in the plastic, which I'm going to end up doing the whole cucumber. And then I have some celery here. We'll throw celery in. I think those pieces are a little too big. We'll see what happens. See how tiny everything comes out? And 
I don't know. I love eating a salad this way. I'm telling you, so much better than, I don't know, big pieces of lettuce. I don't know. It's just so much nicer. Let me wash this broccoli. Everything else I had washed. Let's get some of this broccoli chopped up. If you have cauliflower, you could throw cauliflower in. The only thing I've never put in the chopped salad before is um, like zucchini or squash. I don't know. For some reason, I always feel that you have to eat zucchini and yellow squash cooked. <laughs> so I've never put that in my chopped salad before. And let me tell you, when you make a salad like this, you're not going to believe how much this makes. When you see the end result in the big gigantic Tupperware, you're going to be like, holy moly. It makes so much. And my mother, she loves this. And it was funny because a lady at her job was picking up these salads all the time, these chopped salads, you know, in a container and my mother was like, oh, Sandy, where do you get those salads from? Oh. So she said, oh, at the bodega by, bodega by my house. So my mother says, oh, you think you could, I'll give you money. You think you could pick me up one the next time you go there? So, so the lady was like, yeah, sure. So my mother had it, and she was hooked ever since. So she would make the lady... Um, Every time she went there, she would give her money every week to pick one up because the salad was so big. It would last my mother like basically two or three lunches. So then my mother was, and they were expensive, like maybe nine, ten dollars for a salad. You know, I don't think that's expensive, but my mother did. So anyhow, she's like, oh, I'll just do everything in my chopper because she knew everything that was in there. Yeah, so she's been making it for been making them for a while now and then when I was at my mother's I go what the heck are you making and she goes oh I'm making my chopped salad for the week and I said oh you're not getting them from Sandy no more and she goes no why she goes I'll, I make it myself she goes and she goes it lasts me all week some of these pieces are too big I shouldn't have put that much in all right, I'm going to have to take some of these out. I'll dump out what's already chopped, and then I'll get back to it. I'll be right back. All right, so off camera, I chopped up my red onion and my carrot. That was after I did the broccoli. My red cabbage is in here. The whole entire head of lettuce. Half of a cucumber. Yeah, I think I'm going to save this other half of the cucumber because I want to make, um, what do you call it, that tzatziki sauce, and I use cucumber in that, so I'm going to save that half of cucumber. I'm just mixing this now. The last thing I'm going to put in my chopper is my black olives and my green olives. So I have about 20 green olives and 15 black olives. This is going to make so many meals that, you know, how am I supposed to know how many olives I'm eating in one particular serving? So I'm just going to charge myself like a point or two every time I eat a bowl of salad. Because I know olives are points, but they're not, not even that many points, but... Reminds me of Halloween, black, green, and red. <laughs> kind of looks like orange. Now you can also chop up, um, you could put the shredded mozzarella cheese in here, or if you have any other type of block cheese, like a, a low-fat or a fat-free block cheese. You could chop it up into small pieces and put the cheese in. You can add ham. 
chopped up ham. You could put anything you want in it, basically. And look, you guys, look at the size of this bowl. It's so heavy. That is a ton of salad, let me tell you. Literally a ton. And it was only... I didn't even use half of this cabbage. It was less than a half of the head. So it was half a head of cabbage, three stalks of celery, a half of a cucumber, four big radishes, one head of lettuce. You know, you saw the olives I put in. And this was already open with a couple of carrots taken out and then just some carrots. And look how much it makes. I even have green pepper. Um, I was going to chop up a green pepper and put it in here, but I, I only have three peppers and I wanted to make stuffed peppers. So my husband would eat one for dinner, one for lunch the next day, and then I would have one. But otherwise I'd be, put, be putting um, green pepper in here too. Or if you have a red pepper, a yellow pepper. I like the flavor of pepper in salads. So basically, this is your salad. You never want to put the tomatoes in. The tomatoes are too juicy, and it'll make it too wet. But I am going to pour this onto some paper towels and try to blot as much liquid out as I can. And if you do that, it just lasts so much longer. And I'm telling you, it's delicious. You might say, oh, my God, everything is so, so small and so tiny. I just, I, me and my mother love eating it like this. It is delicious. Let me just wipe this up a little bit. I made some mess here. I'm going to just taste a little. Now, the way I eat mine, when I plate myself up a bowl, because I'm going to eat before I go to the hospital. Mmm. You can taste everything. The olives, the onions. Now I would add, after I'm done blotting it off and getting it all dry, I'm going to be adding some black pepper to it. But you never want to add salt because salt brings out the liquid and things. And then when I make my bowl of salad, I'm going to have these tomatoes chopped up small in a separate Tupperware, and then I'm going to add uh, chickpeas on top. These I'm not going to cut. And that's how easy it is to do a chopped salad, but you want to make sure that you get most of this liquid off of the salad before you store it. You can see the liquid coming through. It doesn't take that long. You know... Maybe keep turning it and then blotting it. And I'm telling you, you guys, you're not going to be disappointed. We'd love eating it like this. Add some cheese. Add some meat. Add your tomatoes when you're, when you're going to eat it. Some chickpeas. You could put some beans. Anything you want. Absolutely delicious. So I'm going to get this all blotted nice and dry. Then I'm going to make up my plate. And the dressing I'm going to use is just red wine vinegar and like a teaspoon of oil. So that's what I'm going to have on mine for today. And yeah, I've been meaning to show you guys how to do a chopped salad for a while because me and my, like I said, me and my mom, we eat them all the time. But it just, like I make a mess when I do it. And I don't know, I just never got around to making the video for you guys. But yeah, it's, it, if you have a food processor, it's super easy. Just do like one or two things at a time, dry it off, put it in. And you always want to do it on pulse. So you don't want to, you know, put your, put it on 
like low or high so that it spins too fast. You always just want to pulse, 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 pulse. And there you have it, you guys. A delicious, delicious, and it makes so much. It really does make a ton. So I'm going to get this all dried off, and then I'll show you my plate. So stay tuned for the end, please. Thank you. You guys, I just laid out paper towels, and I put it on my stove. So as you can see, like that's my, look how much salad that made. Literally, it just makes so much. Me and my mother, we can't figure it out. We're like, all right, it's just one head of lettuce, a couple of carrots, a half a cucumber, a half a head of cabbage, a couple of radishes. It just makes so much. It's mind blowing. It really is mind blowing. So I'm just going to pat this dry. Like I said, I'm going to get as much water out as I can and let it dry out for a little bit and then put it back in the bowl. So yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I just wanted to show you how much, look at that on my stove. It is so much and it's not like it's flat. Like there's, there's a lot of salad under there. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, friends. So I got as much water as I could off of my salad mixture here. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take out a bowl full. And there's still, oh my God, look at all that salad left. There is so much. It really makes a ton. Now what I'm going to do is I have some chopped up tomato here that I'm going to add. Yeah, always do your tomato on the side because the tomato is has a lot of liquid in it and you don't want your salad to sit in liquid like that. I have some chickpeas here. I'm going to throw some on. I absolutely love chickpeas on a salad. Then I have some of the fat-free mozzarella cheese. I'm only going to put a little tiny bit. I have some salt. And some black pepper. I forgot to add it to my whole bowl, so I'll just do it every time separately. It's not a big deal. And now, how I'm going to dress this salad is I have one half teaspoon of oil here, which is plenty. And I'm just going to take, I, lo I love the taste of vinegar, so I'm just going to take one cap full of vinegar and pour that on. Then I'm just going to give it a stir. There you have it, guys. The best, best chopped salad ever. Let me give it a taste. So good. It is so good, you guys. Delicious. See the black olive? Like basically every bite, you get a little bit of everything. That's what I love about it. It's just so tasty when you eat it like this compared to like a regular salad. It just, the, it's just so, so tasteful. Absolutely delicious. So that's my little video for today. I'm going to jump in the shower, get ready to go up to the hospital, see my brother. I'm going to eat this first before I go. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I hope you make a chopped salad. You're going to absolutely love it. Just always remember, actually in the bottom of this bowl, I put like a triple layer of um, paper towels in it so that it's... 
you know, if any liquid, more liquid does come out of the vegetables, it will seep into this. And it won't be sitting, like, in the bottom of the bowl with, with the actual, you know, chopped vegetables. So that's a good way to do it as well. But, yeah, this is so flavorful, so delicious, and I hope you like it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscription button. Please hit the notification bell. And if you like chopped salads, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Also, follow me on Instagram. If you're not on Instagram, just, you know, set up an Instagram account. You don't have to post anything. You could just go on and see what other people are doing. Not every single day, but for the most part, I post on Instagram every day. And it's, you know, different from my YouTube. So I'll put my cats, pictures of my uncle if I take him out of the nursing home, you know, family pictures, um... You know, what I cook for my husband for dinner uh, on a particular night. I'll take pictures and I'll show that. So, yeah, if you head on over to my Instagram. I do a lot of Instagram stories where the Instagram story only lasts for like 24 hours and then it disappears. But then I have a ton of um, regular, you know, Instagram posts. So in the description box below will be my Instagram where you can follow me there. And, uh, yeah, so everybody have a great day. I'm going to eat my salad. I'm hungry and get ready uh, for the rest of my day. And everybody have a wonderful one. And everyone have a great weekend. And I'll see you all on Monday. Bye-bye now. I'm going to enjoy this. Look how good. Mm-mm, good.